is. We're, we're, we have 10 new players, so we're definitely in a learning curve and, and really just trying to learn each other's games and figure out what each other's strengths are. And uh, obviously we've got uh, a lot of teaching that's going on down here with having basically a whole new team on the floor. Uh, Bree was the only player today in practice that's a returning player that played last year. Sess is sidelined right now uh, for a little bit with an injury. Uh, so basically, you've got a whole new group that uh, we're learning about everything. And uh, I don't have anyone, one, I don't have five players to throw out there and say, okay, everybody watch this, and then you go out. It's completely learning for the entire group. So we're in a full throttle teaching mode, you know, but uh, I'm looking for these guys to help us, uh, you know, be the foundation of us. You know, we're in a rebuilding mode. I mean, I bet we're um, one of the youngest teams in the country, but I'm telling these guys, you know, I'm not treating you like your freshmen. We're going to treat you like your juniors and seniors, and um, and our expectations are going to be that way. But at the end of the day, we, we are very young, and so I think that it's a foundation. This is what this is, is a foundation, and the key is that we get better. I, I think as a coach, you're always wanting your team to get better, and when you don't get better, then you're not going to feel very good about your year, but if you do get better, you're going to feel good about that, and that's a big goal of ours is to get better. So, we have 30 days to, um, I think, get, you know, I want us to get really comfortable out here on the court in these next 30 days. Like right now, I don't think our players are comfortable. Uh, we're very quiet. And when you're, you know, when you're thinking a lot and you're learning, um, you're taking more in. And uh, that when you know something, you're able to articulate and communicate and you're not having to think about it. So we just got to get a lot of reps. Uh, but one of the big things is uh, in these 30 days is I really hope that I see in this 30 day window our kids go from not being comfortable right now to being more comfortable in the system and, and really feeling like they know what we're wanting out there. Right now they're just learning what we want. You know I think the thing about Bree is uh, you know she's she's a competitor. Um, you know for her to just stick her nose in there and, and lead this team and her competitiveness and her aggressiveness and and I really want for her to enjoy uh, her teammates and enjoy this experience. Uh, she's a great young lady. I think her goal is, you know, to really be a leader in terms of uh, us developing the culture that we want um, as a basketball team in terms of how hard we work, um, how competitive we are, and then being great teammates and sisters off the court. Well, you know, I think Jada, uh, Jada Hampton uh, has shown some things that offensively. Uh, been very, very pleased with Jada Peacock in terms of her motor. She's out here going really hard and being really, really vocal. Um, Trajada uh, in the post, I think she's probably been one of our most physical newcomers. Um, and she's got great listening skills. Uh, I'm figuring out who's got great listening skills and who's not being absorbent as they need to. And so, you know, I'm challenging these guys to, to really listen because it's every day down here, it's a teaching, it's a teaching mode. So. Um, those three, I'd say, uh, have been very, very impressive. Yeah.